World War I was arguably humanity's darkest hour. For soldiers on the front line, the physical task in front of them was immense and deadly. They fought in conditions of rain, mud, cold, disease, artillery shelling and gas attacks. The fear of an enemy breach was dull and constant. And yet, amid the horrors of the front line, there were long periods where soldiers had little to do. The New York Times was among the first to describe it as months of boredom and moments of terror. But it was in these quiet times that they found ways to hold on to their sanity by making these moments of joy and camaraderie. In this video, we'll take a closer look at footage of World War I soldiers releasing a little steam during one of the deadliest conflicts in history. Soldiers found great solace in music. These clips are of French and American soldiers in Chateau Thierry in France in 1918. They're celebrating the success of one of the first battles of the American Expeditionary Forces the newly trained American forces pushed back the German advance in what was a turning point in the war. Many soldiers played musical instruments like pianos, accordions or harmonicas, either as part of a military band or just whenever the opportunity arose. Soldiers would sing and dance in a strong contrast to the danger that surrounded them. Other clips seen here of soldiers just trying to relieve the boredom of life on ships, in trenches and on the front lines. Before we go on, please take a second to like, subscribe and ding that bell. Sport played a vital role in boosting the morale of soldiers. Military commanders recognized this value early on in the war and sport was often regimented to maintain the mental well-being of troops. Amidst the grim backdrop, engaging in sports provided soldiers with a sense of normalcy. It not only served as a distraction, but also fostered unity amongst the soldiers. Sport even crossed the front line. British and German troops, for instance, would sometimes find themselves in impromptu football games in no man's land, the desolate wasteland between the two armies on the front lines. They happened during unofficial ceasefires on Christmas Day and other occasions. These friendly matches, played with makeshift balls, brought soldiers from opposing sides together in a show of humanity amidst the brutality of war. Often called the Christmas Truce or the Football Truce, it was a moment that became emblematic of the power of sports to bridge divides. They serve as a testament to the universal human need for recreation and camaraderie, even in the direst of circumstances. Listeners Captain Steward George Fox describes the importance of sport on board HMS Marlborough in 1914. Sport was very much encouraged to keep the uh, ship's company happy and uh, in good, in fit condition. We used to play cards, used to get get on deck and uh, um, do bayonet fighting and uh, boxing. Not that I was any boxer, but I thought it was, it was good for the physique, you know, and keeping you fit. And besides, it passed the time. There are many stories of soldiers who formed bonds with animals they encountered in the war. Stray dogs became loyal companions, giving comfort and friendship to both soldier and animal. It's another contrasting scene of the war, how soldiers adopted stray and displaced animals, gave them food, shelter and compassion. One such dog was Sergeant Stubby. He served with the 102nd Infantry Regiment in the trenches in France. He was the only dog that was, in fact, a sergeant. Stubby was promoted after several tours of duty, including active combat and injury. And who can forget the war horses of World War I? Eight million of them gave their lives in the conflict. It would be the last war to ever use horses in such numbers. But other encounters with animals were less planned, like this soldier who found a lion cub.
An army marches on its stomach, or so the saying goes. But food was not only a necessity on the front line, sharing meals was a way for beleaguered soldiers to recharge their morale. Food was often in short supply, so when available, it would immediately lift the mood. A simple meal was enough to sit, share stories and laugh. Even these allied prisoners of war in this German war film seem happy to be sharing a meal, if only for a moment. And that seems to be a recurring idea from the stories of the front line. I'm alive for now. If you're enjoying this video, please take a hot second to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Yestervid and hit the bell so you're notified of new videos. And some of the footage we found was just so delightfully irreverent, it deserved its own category. So here's our salute to General Shenanigans. In the darkest of times, the human spirit has an incredible capacity to find moments of light. World War I soldiers, despite the unimaginable challenges they faced, managed to find joy in music, companionship, games and shared meals. These small acts of normal life amidst the chaos of war remind us that the human spirit is harder to break than you might think. And that's no joke. Thanks so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. Please also check out our website yesdavid.com and our social medias above. Also check out the video description for a couple of Easter eggs.